Well, that seems to have nothing to do with murder, does it? No, but uh, it does put things into perspective that, you know, a friend of mine for the past month who we've been housing in this settlement that Izzy and I founded together is the reason we're all here, is the reason this whole place is created, and therefore is the reason that my fiancé is dead. So, I, I'm not really that happy right now about this. It's not exactly a great day. No, I think it's actually probably the worst day. Izzy and you founded this settlement? Yeah, um, Izzy and I actually met when I got trapped here two years ago. He's been here for over a decade. Two years ago. And we met in another settlement and we got separated from them when we got attacked by the Dash 2s one night. So we got separated, so me, Izzy, and my fiance Carter all found the showroom and decided this would be a great place to start a new settlement. And then that's how it happened. And then all of these other people that we've welcomed into our place, just like we welcomed all of you guys, just came here and we let them stay here. And now we're in this dizzy where my fiance's dead, there's a murder accomplice running around, and there's not nearly enough beds to sleep in. So. Do you remember anything about the specific order of events of people arriving in this settlement after you and Izzy founded it? So we founded it, and I think probably a few months after that is when Cam showed up. Um, Cam just kind of came upon this place just like you guys did. And a few months after that, Cam found Sloan, I guess, when he was on a supply run, and brought Sloan back here. And then after that, that's when Edgar showed up, and they were all Foundation security members. Joe came here at some point in the middle of all the other Foundation members, but I don't remember when. And then Oz has only been here for a month. And apparently we have the creator in this settlement with us, so... Yeah. Curiouser and curiouser and curious. Absolutely! And still in absolute danger, so... Do you have any new notes in your notepad? I mean, now we know that Oz is Dr. Entertainment. That takes him off the table for the murderer, at least. Just not tangentially responsible. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, besides that, though, I don't have anything so that I just don't trust the foundation. What? What do you know about this whole Edgar alibi of, you know, literally seeing Ken do this? How do we, how do we discount that? Why would we discount that if that's what he's always saw? I mean, I saw Ken murder part of myself. Yes, so who... Move them. Why is moving them out more important? Just because we've already detained Cam by now. Edgar was actually the one who detained Cam in the shower. I got you. Right. But then after that, I have no idea where... The body was moved. Right. And I have no idea yes. where he was. Order of events. Yeah. So the murder was 2.30. 3 to 4 a.m. the body was moved, but I don't know where everybody was last night. Is Cam still in the bathroom? Yes. Not that I would tell you to go talk to a murderer, but maybe he saw something last night. I haven't gotten it into my system. I'll take that bullet for you. Hi. Hello there. Well, we're doing hello a little there. research for the um. We're doing research for uh, the things. Don't worry about it. Why? Why would I worry about anything? That would be a strange thing for me to do. Not the SPC. I'm not a member of the SPC Foundation. Not at all punching the Bahajis. Yes, I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm part of the um. Let's head back to SC sexy entertainment. <laughs> Well, they've escaped. Now we're going to investigate. Hello there. Hello. Um, what's your name? Hello, I'm Theron, and you are? Theron, I'm Cam. Cam, are you doing all right? Uh, I can imagine. Uh, what's going on? Well, there was a very large ruckus. It's been very large ruckus after very large ruckus for the last 45 minutes. It sounds like it. What do you remember of the past evening? I wish I could tell you what I remember, but I really don't remember very much. Indeed, indeed. Uh, the last thing you remember, where does your memory start? Well, I woke up this morning uh, in here, here, in here. In here. And before then, um, I, I, have the right to stay silent. I found a note yesterday. A or note yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Around evening time, maybe like 6 p.m., um, there was a note with my stuff that said meet me outside the showroom before nightfall and I was gonna go meet who I left it but I don't remember anything after that. I see a, a tear in your sweater. Do you know what caused that wound? Yeah, Carter. Carter. The person I killed. What kind of wound is under there, do you reckon? Have you investigated it? Oh, it already healed. I feel really fast. Interesting. Um, I guess scratched me and I was covered in a lot of blood when I woke up and it was still bleeding but um, Sloan bandaged me up and it's already healed. Yeah. Interesting. 
Interesting. Yeah. And that's the only injury you have? Yeah. Were there any other symptoms of illness when you awoke? Some sort of dizziness or dry mouth or... I don't remember what happened, but I do remember being really angry for some reason. And I, I kind of remember like flashes. Like I, I know that I did it, but I don't know why. So I was wondering if there were like any signs that maybe the, the scientists could like test for why I, I went crazy last night. Like maybe they have some kind of experiment you can run that would prove that I was in a weird state and then we can prevent it from happening again so I don't hurt anybody. That is certainly something to investigate. Is there any recollection of any other people involved? Someone you met with that note that led you outside? I don't know I would assume it's the same person who needs yeah, some on. sort of order on here. Right. I, I don't know what happened, but I heard that Iris is the person who found me when I was, you know, killing her. Iris was the person who found you? I think everyone came and saw the aftermath, but I think Iris walked in on it. Were you informed of any role of Edgar's time and place? Uh, Edgar? Edgar. Um, I don't know what, what Edgar was. Um, I would guess that he was patrolling or something. And so Iris was the one who found you? Is what you remember or were told? What I was told. Everyone kind of ended up running out when I was screamed, but I think as I was doing it, Iris walked into the room and saw the whole thing. All right, I will be talking to the scientists to see if there's anything they can do to help investigate the situation. Okay, please, please do, because I really want to help, but I, I don't know what I can do with you. Stay strong. Thanks. Hello, Sherry. Hello again. Yes, did you I, speak with Cam? I did, in fact, speak with Cam. Can you remind me exactly the situation of Carter's murder? What was the scenario? Sure. Um, so it was late at night last night. I was actually sleeping in my bed when I heard some weird choking sounds coming out from outside. Indeed. Um, I woke up, realized Carter wasn't in bed like he said he was going to be, and came outside here in the living room to check it out. I opened the door, stepped out, and I saw Cam rip Carter's throat out with his bare teeth and the blood just going everywhere and Carter fell to the ground and Cam was just tearing him up with his own bare hands. I screamed, Edgar and the rest of the people came out and Edgar detained. Yes. Excuse me, Edgar. Are you just going to barge into my room again? Yes, yes, because you are not filling out the paperwork. There is now more paperwork for you to fill out. A lot of paperwork. Okay, well, I said no to paperwork twice, and the answer is more paperwork. Listen, I'm trying to find out what the accomplice You need to fill out the official SCP booklet about procrastination. Procrastination? This is not procrastination. I'm trying to do something important here, unlike someone whose literal job is security. Oh, these questions are ridiculous. Edgar, really? For the family? For him? What? What? These are important for me to fill out right now? Yes, it is. Isn't it a little inconsiderate? The love of my life just died last night. And I was murdered, lead. no less. Can you and as security, this is lead, this is please. your idea of what I'm supposed to be doing right now? I need to do something right around here. I've let a murderer slip by, you know along what? with his accomplice. Yeah, and that's not my fault, but yet I have to fill all this paperwork about my deceased partner? Look, I'll do you a favor, and I'll bring this back to your desk for you. Edgar. What? Mind if I talk to you about something real quick? Yes, uh, sure. I'm sorry, I'm, un I'm unaware of how investors work, but I was brought up in a conversation, and I need to know, uh, do you have any to it? You know, any way to tell if someone was unnecessary? Oh, oh convenient enough, I was just talking to my friend over here. Ah, oh, excellent. Hello. Essentially, the amnestics do give you information. Uh, have four hours previous to when the injection occurs, or any sort of ingestion, uh, along with drowsiness, the looziness, Trouble standing. Basically, if you took like three Xanax, that's what it kind of feels like. Alright, uh, would dry mouth, like cotton mouth, uh, be a. You know, sometimes in like. Good job, Brent, thank you. There's your dog. Here, 
I'm feeling particularly without leads at this moment, chat. Do you have any ideas for me? Anyone we should talk to? No, it's not an SCP fight club. Come on now. I think we make our way to the researchers. I think that's our next move. Hello there. Hi, I'm Joe, and you are? You can call me Theron. How are you doing, Joe? Pleasure. Uh, I could be better, but... Uh, I understand. Yeah. Uh, something I can help you with, Theron? I'm investigating certain things about the situation. Um, let's start with amnestics. Yes, so okay. Edgar is in charge of the amnestic supply, it seems. Yes. And so, where do the amnestics come from? Uh, supposedly, Sloan and Edgar had some from their site assignments when they were first dispatched out to here to work at the incident in Ikea. Excellent. It seems like they have a large supply, well in stock. I guess, I guess their superiors probably knew what they were getting themselves into and packed them for the long haul. Is there any sort of uh, supply roster, any sort of tracking of when they are used, when they are not? I mean, it's supposed to be handled by Edgar. He, if he's the one in charge of them, he should have the logs that are there to be used and administered. Good, domestic logs. We'll look into that. Next up, what is your memory recollection of the situation of Carter's unfortunate demise? Basically, I was asleep in the researchers' quarters beforehand, and all of a sudden started hearing Carter and Cam arguing a bit loudly, and then the, the screams intensified, and all of a sudden I started hearing Iris scream too. So at that point, got out of bed, came out of the research quarters, and at that point, all I saw really was Cam straddling the top of Carter's length body and having to be restrained by both Edgar and Ren. Edgar and Ren, all right. Fill me in. What happened yeah, post yeah. assault? Basically, Edgar and Ren first went off to go contain Cam in the shower, uh, issue, you know, put on the SCP Foundation lock to try and keep him contained in the shower. Was Cam injured? It, it seems to be. I, I noticed there was that wound on his shoulder, presumably from the altercation with Carter. A wound? Was that wound, uh, did you see the wound before it was bandaged? No. Okay. Interesting. Continue. Continue. Um, but saw that and then, you know, tried doing what we could to clean up the, the mess that had been made, unfortunately. And Edgar and Ren came in, took care of business. They said, I'm going to go back to whatever they, they need to do, get some rest, try to figure it out in the morning after a good night's sleep. Um, so I went back to the research quarters, tried to get some sleep, couldn't, you know, for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. An image like that gets burned into your brain pretty quick. So I ended up needing to leave the research quarters to go to the bathroom, and it was at that point I noticed that when we had moved Carter's body next to the barricade, it was no longer there. So you were the one who discovered that Carter's body was missing? Yes. At least the first one that noticed it and then reported it to everyone, because I started banging on all the doors and yelling at everyone to wake up again. That the body is missing, the body is missing. Yes, exactly. Okay. Was And who was awake, who was not awake at that point, do you remember? Um, I mean, Edgar and Red were both definitely awake, security doing their night watch. Uh, and then I remember Dr. One Entertainment, uh, Iris, Sloan, and it, it, Izzy were all pretty quick to respond to. Everyone kind of came out in a rather quick succession. Interesting, interesting. Uh, 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 there seems to be some sort of altercation. We'll continue momentarily. Of course there. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.